The cerebral assassin has arrived. WWE Universe fixated squarely on his chiseled physique. Broke into the main event scene with the likes of The Rock, Mick Foley, Big Show, all at WrestleMania 2000. And has never looked back since. seven WrestleManias and continues to grow his legend in WWE. From the midnight workouts to the endless dieting, Triple H prides himself on always being ready. I just hope Triple H's opponent tonight is as mentally tough as they think they are because the cerebral assassin is at the top of the game. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. The King of Kings, Triple H, is looking as imposing tonight than at any point during his dominant 20 year reign. You know, normally I'd accuse you of kissing up to the boss, Byron, but that assessment's actually pretty spot on. Well, thanks. Big time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. Will it take my body press? Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And
starting to show signs of fatigue. But he's very aware of Penny Hagerman. And a kick out by the animal. The animal refusing to be tamed. It's going to take a whole lot more than that. Sharp one right to the cheekbone. You know, when Batista left Evolution, many felt he was a marked man, but the animal managed to thrive on his own. Batista became beloved by the WWE Universe, and it propelled him to multiple world championships. Irish whip! There he goes, crashing to the floor. Michael mentioned Batista's departure from Evolution, and that's when the animal morphed into an altered beast, consumed with rage. However, after hellacious battles with John Cena, he instituted a self-imposed exile from WWE. After the animal used that time to become an MMA fighter and a hit movie actor, the animal returned in 2014, won his second Royal Rumble, headlined WrestleMania 30, and rejoined Evolution. Oh, he's such a tough target. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here. Oof! Now he's got him here, he's got him. Thunderous slam. Bringing it back into the ring. Bringing it back between the ropes. Oh boy, he is rolling. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not gonna end well. When Batista returned to WWE in 2014, he brought with him a new repertoire of attacks and evasions. Corey, how does mixed martial arts impact someone's matches? Hold strikes, establishing control, are already part of the superstar's DNA, Cole. Adding proficiency in mixed martial arts makes Batista a more complete competitor. It made the animal even more vicious. He could do it here. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. Gonna take a whole lot more. Talking about Batista's MMA training being incorporated into his offense for WWE competition also speaks to the evolution of the sports entertainment competitor. Byron, share with us your thoughts. My He might just win this thing right here. Yeah, but now Batista needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Talk about history. Triple H was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Killer Kowalski and made his debut in 1995. The Blue Blood Hunter Hurst Helmsley showed a different attitude when he formed D-Generation X alongside Shawn Michaels. Oh, <laughs> Can't walk after that attack to the back. Game, set, match. This one is over. Looking for all the glory here. And he got a near fall out of it. Too soon. Look at Triple H stalking him. Pedigree! Pedigree! That's the cover. What? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Can you believe this? Hey, hey, you're going to get yourself disqualified. No luck against Batista there.
Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. Oh, nasty impact. He's calling for it. Uh-oh. Batista is looking to end it. Boom! The game getting absolutely punished right now. Will it be? Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Not yet. I'll tell you what, this is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. What a strike. He wants no part of the outside. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Line. Oh boy, he is rolling. And this has got to be it! Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. Not quite. When this guy's on, look out. Triple H looking to end the spine buster. This one is over. Going for the cover. Two, three. Triple H looked impressive tonight. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Check him out here. Oh, I can't believe this. He ain't playing here. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner. The game, Triple H. The referee's three-count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. You may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you there was nothing easy about that win right there.